The internet is a blessing for most, but at times it is threatening to your business. As we are all aware, internet is a place for scammers and spammers who are just waiting for you to make one wrong decision. Once the tables turn, it might be worse than your worst nightmare and extremely beneficial for the one who scammed you or at least conspired to scam you. Now the most common pattern that is associated with spammers is known as phishing. Most of us today are aware what phishing is. So in this video, we will be talking about the 5 most common patterns of phishing and how they might affect your business. Hi guys, this is Devarbo and welcome to MyTasker's YouTube channel. Before we start, let us quickly visit what phishing is and how you can become a victim of phishing. Phishing is analogous to phishing and got its name from the same source. Most people say that phishing is a trick via which you can fish sensitive information. Phishing is a modern way through which scammers and spammers can acquire pieces of information and sensitive data. By sensitive information, we mean your bank account number, your email ID, your personal information or your medical history. Once you click on a link given by an imposter who poses as an admissible person or a legal business organization, your sensitive data will get compromised immediately. Suppose you get an email one day that is enticing and full of big vocabulary. It is a basic common human nature to be deviated a bit at times. But once your focus shifts and you click on the link, you might as well be ready for the worst case scenario. Behind every phishing attack, there is a hacker. The sole objective of this hacker is to steal your sensitive and corporate information. In addition to this, these hackers also have the capability to harm your computer with a malware or a Trojan virus. According to Proofpoint's 2022 State of the Fish report, 83% organizations got affected by a phishing attack this last year itself. So watch this video till the end to learn about the most common tactics used by the hackers and to avoid the most common phishing attacks. Number 1. Email phishing Scammers usually have a number of tricks up their sleeves and they are consistent in using these methods. The context of the email might change but the techniques more or less remain the similar. Scammers create a fake domain that looks real and mimics a legit business organization that sends out generic email requests. The fake domain usually has either the letter R or N that are placed next to each other as RN but not a direct M. At times, the fraudster domain uses authentic business organizations names in their URL such as david at amazonsupport.com. We all know Amazon's authenticity and therefore that email might appear to be legitimate. However, it is always advised that you check the email ID before clicking on a link or downloading an attachment. A few days ago, we received a similar email apparently from Facebook. The email read, we have done some copyright violation on our page. But when we checked our Facebook page, there was no such notification. The scammer should have at least used Facebook's original logo in the email profile to make it more real. Number 2. Spear phishing Spear phishing tactics are usually very sophisticated and well versed. Spear phishing emails are usually malicious emails that are directed to a specific person. People who are well trained in spear phishing usually have quite a little information related to their victim. This information includes their name, their place of work, their position, email address and details about their job responsibility. The email sent to you as spear phishing email usually has all the details placed exactly where they should be, like your name and your position of responsibility. The fraudster makes the email look like as if you are making a bank transaction on behalf of the company. Moreover, the language that is associated with these emails is also an important factor. The way these people will speak to you via the email will make you understand that they are native speakers and they have the power to convince you regarding their authenticity. Number 3. Well, 
Welling are those phishing attacks that are mainly targeted towards the senior members of a business organization. Welling or phishing are more or less similar but the only difference is that welling has a subtle technique compared to phishing. Welling usually involves the pretext of a CEO. This CEO is looking forward to receiving a favor from his or her employee. These emails are usually direct and to the point. More like an instruction directly from the senior executives like the manager or the CEO. Since these emails have an authoritative tone, it becomes very difficult for the junior employees to confront them as it might put their professional position in a place of jeopardy. Number 4. Smishing and Wishing Smishing and Wishing are two common phishing attacks that we have seen multiple times in movies and TV series. This method involves a telecaller calling you from the bank or any other reputable organization and asking you to make a purchase. Although the context is the same as phishing, the pattern differs more or less. The most common type of messages that come in this phishing attack are in the form of alerts from your bank or organization. These messages redirect you to click on a link so that you can prevent yourself from further damages. But in reality, the link is controlled entirely by a scammer with the sole motive of getting your bank details. Number 5. Angular Phishing These phishing attacks are specifically directed towards social media users. Now we all know that social media is a very tricky place. It has the capacity to make an ordinary man rich in no matter of time. Now the road to riches from rags does not always turn out to be a beneficial one. There are innumerable people that create fake URLs, fake websites, posts related to your work, tweets, instant messages which are more or less like smishing. These might persuade people to share their private information or also download malware at times. As an alternative, criminals and scammers also use mobile data and create highly targeted ads. Now these are the 5 major ways and the most common ones through which a scammer attacks you via phishing. Now that you are aware of all these attacks, you need to take every step with caution. Always remember that prevention is better than cure and being cautious can help you from becoming a victim. This brings us to the end of the video and we really hope you liked it. Share it with your friends and colleagues to make them aware of these 5 common phishing attacks. To get more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Until next time, stay safe and take care. Thank you.